Hello and welcome back to this series on AP Computer Science Principles. Today we are diving into the very first unit, Digital Information, here on Khan Academy. So if you'll join me, let's go ahead and get started. So as I said before, the first thing I recommend doing when jumping into one of these units is to read the articles, take notes on them, watch the videos, take notes on those. Once you've done that, then you go ahead and click on the exercise and let's go ahead and do this one together. Which of these best describes what a binary digit can store? A binary digit can store a series of single digit values of two single digit values such as 4, 8. Well, that's not true at all. A, a binary digit, a bit, ah, that's a good point. A bit is a binary digit, okay? In fact, we shouldn't even use the word digit. The prefix of digit, die, means 10, whereas the prefix of bit, by, means 2. So that kind of means that a binary digit is not the way to think about it. Think of it as bits. When you see the word binary digit, all it means is bit. OK. So it cannot store a series of two single digit values. So that one is definitely wrong. A binary digit can store one of two values, 0 or 1. I think that's the correct answer. But let's look at the other ones anyway. A binary digit can store a series of two 0, 1 values, such as 1, 1. Well, that's not possible because that would take two bits, right? There are two of them right there. It would take two bits to make 1, 1. A binary digit can store one of the values from 0 to 9. Now it's confusing it with a digit, right? A regular ordinary base 10 digit can be anywhere from 0 to 9, whereas a bit can only be a 0 or a 1. That is all. So the answer to this is indeed B. Oh, by the way, while we're looking at this, um, I want you to see that when you get an answer right or wrong, it will tell you why a particular answer is wrong. So if you click on an answer and you get it wrong and you're like, why did I get it wrong? Read the information underneath. It can really help you. And in fact, if you still don't understand, you can always click on this see a step-by-step -step solution uh, button in order to get more information. Just be careful. If you hit that button before you've actually answered the problem, it will mark it wrong because it's essentially giving you the answer, right? So there is a hint button if you're totally stuck, but make sure not to use it unless you've already got the problem wrong. The Apple iPhone includes a settings menu where you can toggle various accessibility options on or off, such as bold text and button shapes. What is the minimum number of bits that can represent those two options? Well, again, each one of these has either an on or an off position, yeah? On or off. So how many bits do I see up there? I see two. There are two options between zero and one. There's one bit, there's two bits. It's zero or one, zero or one. Now, I was already partially through that one, so let's go ahead and run it one more time just to make absolutely sure that we get the idea. So we're gonna jump back into binary bits, or into binary digits. The Apple iPhone includes a settings menu where you can toggle various accessibility options on or off. All right, we already did this one. Two binary options, two on or off switches, two bits. Um, my classroom has two or three light switches that can each be on or off. That would be represented by three bits. How many values can a binary digit store? One of two values, zero or one, that's all. In order to make larger numbers, and we're going to find this out later, we need more bits. Which of these values can be stored in an individual bit? Well, the only one of these that's possible is a one. We can't have both a one and a zero. And again, anything bigger than a one is gonna require multiple bits to create. Modern car dashboards contain a number of visual indicators to help drivers be safer, more responsible drivers. 
which one of these indicators could be represented by a single bit? Note that there are two answers to this question. Well, the current driving mode has one, two, three, four different options, so it cannot be represented by a single bit. A single bit can only represent two possible options, not four. So that one's not correct. The fill level of the gas tank from zero to 40, again, not possible, the numbers are too high. Any number greater than one is going to require multiple bits to represent it. Same thing with the speed dial, so it's gotta be, oh wait, never mind, we've got uh, six options. The warning icon that indicates a seatbelt isn't fastened. Now that is one bit. Either the light is on or it's off. There is no in between unless something is going very wrong. The eco label that indicates the car is either in fuel efficiency mode or in standard fuel mode. Again, two options, one bit. Two options that you have to switch between. Yeah, you can't have both fuel efficiency and standard fuel mode. They are mutually exclusive. That's why you can use one bit to show the decision between the two. And then the temperature in degrees Celsius goes too high. So the answer is D and E. There we go. Now I feel better moving on.